You need to be better at building in Minecraft no matter what block you're using and today we're focused on bamboo and you won't believe what we did with the bamboo raft a little bit later on. This is a table with I guess a tray on top and the secret to this is to grab a bamboo raft with chest, mud which is not quite a full block amazingly and then you can sail your little raft onto there, dismount complete your table this time with uh, spruce trapdoors and then just add in some slabs like that you've got yourself a little tray on a table a little decorative feature that might get your mates puzzled for a minute or two we love bamboo in conjunction with oh by the way thank you to Saracen for help with that one we love bamboo in conjunction with desert builds and Linsidious has made this incredible window. All you got to do is hide your bamboo behind your desert builds, your sandstone. I absolutely love it. So there is a door, amazing windows and you can go for super simple windows like that as well. I think they just look absolutely fantastic. Bamboo with sandstone. Here is another hidden chest, and this time instead of using mud, we're going to use powdered snow. So you've got to get this powdered snow, like that, put it into a little space of 4x4, four four. grab yourself another bamboo raft, this time I'm going to turn it round, grab it and then go backwards, and we just sink down hopefully, can I sink, there we go, turn round and then exit, and that, this time we've got the little uh, opening clasp there. This would look great if you've got a snowy house, snowy biome, something hidden. Outside your front door looks like you've got a little sunken chest that's fallen into the snow, maybe been discarded, forgotten about. I think it looks so atmospheric. Okay, a number of ideas here. Um, the bamboo stripped and the block of bamboo just look absolutely fantastic, looking like little crates of goods. You can go a bit crazy. You could put lava inside it for a nice glow. Uh, sea lanterns, even water looks good as well, waterlogged the blocks there and mangrove muddy roots, muddy mangrove roots just look like a little rubbish container or garbage pail, I love that design. Okay, marching on, these bamboo fences actually look like gold chandeliers. I will show you this in a cathedral we just recently built in just a second or two. Let's continue this like this. Do, 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 do. Can I place some blocks in the right place? That would be handy. Do, do, do. And then you just stick on some lanterns. Is there anybody in? But look, it does. It just looks gold. Who would have thought using bamboo inside, especially indoors, it just has that glow. And when you light it up with lanterns or candles, it looks like gold. I love it. Absolutely brilliant idea. So that is that. Here is a number of teeny tiny ideas. I'm kind of classing this as one idea because it's a lot of small ideas. But you can obviously grow bamboo and chop it off like that. And then you can stick on a trapdoor as well. These are pressure plates which you can just decorate your pot with. Quite cool. Um, if you put a pot in a pot, then you can put bamboo. And then this looks like a little street lamp. So lots of tiny ideas. Does that count as one idea? Hopefully that does count as one idea. Moving swiftly on. This is very cool. Sh blocks of stripped bamboo obviously face in different directions. But if you grab mosaic, bamboo mosaic, you've got a little point in the middle where you can make them kind of join on to each other. And I think that's really, really cool. Makes a little junction. So bamboo mosaic, hard block to use, but it makes a beautiful junction right in the middle. Maybe that was the point of it. And if you had maybe a poor area, you could make little houses like this with some green blocks of bamboo, some stripped bamboo, and then up on top, you can create these little lines. And of course, at the junctions, this is where you would put your mosaic, your block of uh, bamboo mosaic, and then little, decorations with spruce goes very very well uh, with the bamboo and of course a couple of trapdoors on top and you get yourself a good looking poor house I think made of bamboo and staying on these stripped blocks and the mosaic blocks Linsidious has come up with a really really cool floor design so I'm going to show you how to make that there is a variation here of this floor design using the green blocks of bamboo in exchange for these blocks of stripped bamboo. But how to do this? Well, 
Start off with your blocks of stripped bamboo and just space them out with one block in between like that. Then you need to get your mosaic one and these are going to sit at all the corners. Let's do another, oops, let's do another row over here and here. So all the diagonals get the, sh the mosaic. These ones, the blocks of stripped face up the way. And then you grab the ones which are this one, yeah, this one, the uh, stripped bamboo. And you're going to face this one in this direction. And then, how do we do this again? Every second line, do, 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 like that. Okay, and then we turn in this direction and bring these down in this, facing this way, you see? One, two, three. So hopefully that was as clear as mud. It is a pretty cool design. I love it. And not only could you do that for floors, but you could do that for walls as well. Really beautiful design. Lensidious. Absolute genius. Genius. Uh, here's one by uh, Sarasvin, just playing on that design. Pretty much the same design as we've just done, but you can sink in some lighting. And this would light up your floor and light up your entire build. And it just looks so cool. Kind of looks almost East Asia, kind of like. Looks like bamboo forests, maybe from China, Japan, that kind of place where you've got lots of bamboo to use as your floor. I think it's fantastic. And then over here, we've got a dark, which too has gone for beehives in conjunction with blocks of bamboo. And doesn't that look for a fantastic floor? So <laughs> unbelievable ideas for flooring. Here's a simple one, again, by Dark Witch. And it's simply using bamboo trapdoors on top of these decorated pots. It's so cool how these decorated pots can stack up. And you can simply, I'm holding down shift and uh, space so I can jump and crouch at the same time. And it's, it's just so simple to build up your shelf design. How about that? Moving on. Here's one again by helpful builder, Lynn Sidious, just making a good looking wall. So again, you've got the stripped bamboo facing in one direction, but at the junction, you've got mosaic. So it's the same sort of idea as we've seen before. Bamboo trap doors placed from kind of that side just look absolutely fantastic in making a partition, for example, um, or just like a, even just like a window. It looks like a window as well. And this is clever, isn't it? Adding vines on top of the bamboo does actually give quite an interesting effect. And then here's another good effect, adding redstone lamps behind your windows. Maybe if you're just focusing on the outside of a build and just want some light to come out, you're not worried about the interior. That is, it just plays nicely together. The pattern of the redstone lamp and the pattern of the bamboo trapdoor, I think looks really cool indeed. So another one from Lynn Sidious there. Uh, Lincidius was busy <laughs> with amazing ideas. So look at this, a little archway could be the gateway to your city that you've always wanted. Blocks of stripped bamboo, mosaic, and then we've got these bamboo stairs, stairs, and then simple stripped one across like that. You've got, I think, a fantastic looking archway. We'll come back to that one because this is another archway simply by uh, Sarasvin, building on that idea, making it a little bit wider, finishing it off with a bamboo trapdoor on top, and of course, some blocks of bamboo, the green and the yellow colors work really, really well together. So a couple of arches there for you. Lincidious, again, just just the ideas factory yesterday. Uh, we're saying this is a, can you guess what it is? <laughs> we're saying it's a wine rack, all right? And then maybe this is where you serve your drinks. Does it look like a wine rack? I think it could be a wine rack. Maybe if you've got a modern house and you're trying to work out how to get bamboo into it, that could be a way of doing it. Sarasvin with this incredible idea. Um, it's simply using blocks of bamboo trapdoor here to make yourself a good looking, what would you call it? Parasol, sunshade, I think. So it's simply working off the idea of two decorated pots and then three bits of bamboo fence on top. And then on top of that, you can place a bamboo trapdoor and then lower than that, you put more bamboo trapdoor and then finishing off a little decoration of some banners. Really cool. Uh, a lot of people are using bamboo for roofs. That's really good. And 
If I were you, I would add in some moss blocks with the green bamboo. It looks absolutely fantastic, and of course you could bone meal them for added effect. Now we added a few little trapdoors underneath here, and put a little trapdoor wall there as well, and we thought that looked rather smart. Okay, so you could use them as roofs. Here is a little basketball net. Oh, I missed. Can I? There we go. Shoot the hoops. Little basketball net made of bamboo trapdoor. We made the backboard with smooth quartz and black concrete. Easy ideas. Oh, this one I love. This is the one I was talking about at the start of the video. How can you use bamboo rafts creatively when building in Minecraft? Kind of difficult, but if you've got bamboo stairs, you can make yourself a little sun lounger. And the best way of doing this is to actually face this way and kind of stand on it. And then you can kind of really aim the bamboo raft. You want to aim it, I think, is it there? Yes. So it's a second block up, just right about there. There. Oh no. Okay, right about there. And then you can just um, give it a nudge, give it a push, or you can actually get in and nudge it into position yourself. Line it up so that it matches. Once you've done that tirelessly, you get it perfect like that. It takes a little bit of work, but you can get it perfectly. Now, just when you thought it was safe to venture out, by the way, Dark Witch and Sarah's been working on that design. I absolutely love it. Oh. Yeah, just when you thought it was safe to go walk about, and these are as true form, you could make yourself a human centipede, <laughs> a giant caterpillar made of bamboo rafts. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's our silliest idea. All right, uh, okay, this is an eagle made of bamboo, and guess what I haven't done? I haven't practiced how to build this. Ah, I forgot this was here. This is a tricky build. Vincidius, thank you so much for this one. How on earth have you done this? I think I know. Right, so we've got one block there, uh, temporary block there, and then upside down right there. Face that way, and face that way. Okay, so that's the base of the eagle. And then we've got, okay, so we've got that on top, and then we face that way, and that way, and then that way, and that way. And then we've got trapdoors under here and here, and the head is done. Yeah, very simple. That one and that one. So there we go, a little eagle. Um, you could even change it very slightly so that it might even look like an angel as well. Could look quite cool. So there we go. More than 20 ideas of how to build tips and tricks, building hacks for the bamboo block. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do check out my Patreon if you'd like to download everything I've been building since 2019, including kingdoms, schematics, and more. And I'll see you next time. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao, and the blocks be with you.